share my website with you. Uh, so we're always going to start at mycbdesk.com. I know you guys are tired of hearing me say that, just making sure uh, that we're in desk and that we are not in the Realogy site. Uh, this is more agent friendly, user friendly. Um, so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to go into Prospect Square because we have to be able to actually find the reports that we want to share. Um, before we do that, I'm going to kind of show you some options that you have when it comes to sharing these reports on your website. So my particular website on the very, very bottom of the main page, I have some sections here. I have a little bit of a, a blurb about what the area reports are. What do they mean? What is the information included? Um, you know, if people want them in their inbox every month, they can let me know if they need clarification, if they want to take steps to Home ownership, I am here to help. Um, even though I'm a referral agent, I can still say that legally. Um, so just as you guys would on your page, um, discover market, you know, current market data for your area below. And I do have some stock images. I made mine a little fancy in Canva. If that's something that you would like to do, I can assist you with that in a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Um, you're also able to just add images and hyperlinks. Um, you always want to make sure whenever you're adding imagery to your website, um, you do want to make sure that you are adding stock images um, or free images and just not taking something from Google because it looks nice. Um, so you definitely want to make sure um, that you're not getting a copyright infringement. Um, also, you can select the areas that you choose. Um, so again, you don't have to have a, a million here. I'm trying to spread myself out to all the areas um, that, um, you know, that you serve. Uh, here I have, you know, everything from Anne Arundel all the way to Howard, you know, Hartford, Frederick, Cecil, Baltimore City, Baltimore County, Carroll County, um, because I know that you guys are out and about everywhere. Um, if I work in Carroll County, for example, maybe I work in Carroll County and I travel to Frederick or I travel to uh, Washington County even or anywhere that I buy and serve real estate that I am familiar with and feel comfortable putting myself out there for. Um, now you'll see because I did it this way, I'm able to just click here. Uh, this is a hyperlink and someone is going to be able to access my uh, Prospect Square report immediately. Um, it's just going to pop up. I also have these on my site as a cheat sheet for myself. If I wanted to share this on Facebook right now, I could just click on the Facebook tab up here. Um, I could go through, make sure that it's on my business page. That'll come up. Um, and I could say, you know, discover what's new in the real estate market. Um, I could go on, but for time's sake, I'll just post. Um, and that'll go right out to my Facebook business page. Someone can click on it. Um, they can get to this report. Um, you'll also see your profile will be here just make sure that it's very very robust yours will say realty and then someone can get to all this really really good data um, that they are looking for um, so in doing that um, i have to go to desk and i want to start out and prospect square um, and i will show you some other places that you can put this on your website as well um, so we're going to start out with prospect square um, i'm going to go ahead and go in as an agent <clears throat> Actually, I lied to you. I am going to go into Prospect Square as an admin, and I'm just going to pick on somebody, and we're just going to add some stuff to your page. So I hope that that is, that is okay with you. Um, all right, so I am going to pick someone here. Let's see, agent. Oh, it's thinking. I'm not very patient sometimes. Maybe if I talk nicely to it. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna find, um, yeah, I saw your name first. So hopefully you don't mind being my guinea pig today. Yay me. <laughs> 
And this is something, again, you guys don't have to do this on your own. We can do a one on one. We can get in. Um, my premise is always I'm not allowed to do things for you, but if we're doing them together and you're learning, uh, we can still get some of these things done. So please don't ever feel like you're overwhelmed and you're never going to get this done. That is what I'm here for. That is why they pay me the big bucks um, so that you guys can make the big bucks. Um, so when we come in, we're going to come in just like Cindy would, any agent. Um, it's going to have your name. How are you, How is your stuff performing? You will always hear me in every Prospect Square class. I'm going to tell you there's an agent guide here. It is phenomenal. Uh, whoever, you know, typed it up or whatever, they get an A plus in my book. Uh, there's some facts in here, some very common questions that other agents just like you have already asked. Um, so don't feel alone in your questions and the market report guide. Um, so it's a little quick, short video about your market report. Um, for this sake, we are going to go into the area reports. Um, so over here on our menu bar, over on the left-hand side, we're going to see a tab that says reports. Um, when you hover over it, it has a little drop-down menu. And if we click on the reports, we're going to see area, market, quarterly, and then the settings here. Um, so for this sake, I'm going to go into the area reports. Um, we can see that Cindy does already have one set up, um, but we don't want to actually go into one that's set up for a specific person. We're going to make it really easy on you guys. We're just going to go in and preview and share. Um, so preview and share is going to bring up 27 pages of area reports. I don't know about you, but I do not have time to scroll through 27 pages of reports. Um, so I'm going to hit this find button right here in blue and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Frederick County. Let's just say we're going to do Frederick. And the reason I'm choosing Frederick is here we have Maryland and here we have Virginia. So we want to be very careful and MA, I do apologize. That is mid Atlantic, even though it does look like Massachusetts to me. Um, so we want to make sure that we're looking at the county and also the parentheses to make sure that we are in Maryland. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select that one. And we're going to perform our search. Um, so you can see here I can get into Frederick County itself. Um, I can do just condos or single family homes. And then as we get through Adamstown, Brunswick, Emmitsburg, Frederick itself, um, everything that we're going through um, is going to have its own zip code or a bunch of zip codes that are lumped all together. Um, so I know that Frederick has um, uh, a lot of zip codes um, that's going to incorporate all of them into that one report. Um, so here we have Frederick County, Maryland, and I can preview the report here um, so we can go through. We can see Cindy's got some information. I can get in contact with her. Um, all of the information is here and easily accessible to me. Um, so once I find that out, I can see here that there is a link. Um, now you want to be very, very careful when you are copying this link. Um, I have done it before myself where I have missed a letter somewhere in there, maybe something at the end, maybe I've missed the HTTP, and then it doesn't work. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to highlight this link, and I'm going to hit the copy button. Um, or you can highlight it and hit control C if you're on a laptop, um, not a Mac, I think. I think that's command C, uh, but you can click that as well. And I always like to open a new tab, and I'm going to paste it in there just to make sure I've got that whole link and it does work. So here we can see it works. We have a beautiful photo. Again, we have all of that great information to make us compliant. Um, then I'm gonna go back into desk and I'm gonna log in. So here I'm gonna log in as if I was Cindy. Um, so that's gonna make me toggle. When you guys click on in touch, it's just gonna take you directly into your tool. Um, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to go in. So when Cindy logs in, this is what she's going to see in in touch, same as you would for your site. Um, so I want to go in and I want to add this to my website. Um, so I'm going to go to website up here on this blue menu bar on the top. I'm going to click on website and I'm going to click on edit site. Um, so once I've done that, it's going to pull up my pages and menus. Um, 
page for me to look through everything that is in my website. Um, so if I decide that I would like to include this on my home page, um, right here I have my home page. I'm just going to click on page into the drop down menu and edit page because I just want to edit. I want to add something to it. Um, and from there we have some options. Um, so this is what is called a masthead area. Basically, rule of thumb, the photo is always going to be on the top, and then we'll see the different sections or widgets that Cindy has on her page. Um, as you scroll through, you will see a gray bar here. So custom content, um, she's got uh, properties here we can search. She's got some more custom content, some properties. So again, as we go through, you can see some different things. One thing that we're able to do is add another widget here and we can add some custom content. And that's great, you can do that. The only thing that I find with that is I want everything to look um, customizable, but also I want everything to be formatted correctly and I don't want to think about it. I don't want to put a picture and have to count how many spaces are between the photos. I want everything to line up correctly and just look really clean and nice. Um, so here's where I have to determine how many reports I would like to personally include on my main page. Um, you know, it could be maybe I want Frederick, I want Carroll County and another county. So if I want three, if I want four, the reason is we're going to hit this and I'll do it again. Um, hit this section button here at the top and you'll see that now it's going to actually format this for you. I absolutely love this. This is amazing. I don't have to section anything out myself. Everything is just going to look good. It's going to have all the right spacing to it without me having to think about it. Um, so this is where, and Cindy, I'll ask you um, how many reports you would like to have, three or four? Uh, let's do four. Okay, so we're going to go for four. Go big or go home, right? Um, so we're going to go for four. We'll go ahead and check off that, you know, highlight that radio button there. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit save. That's automatically going to push us down to the very, very bottom. And it's a little hard to see because it's white and light blue, uh, but it's giving us the option now to go in and add individual widgets and they're all spaced accordingly. Um, so from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the widget and that is where I'm going to select my custom content. Um, so the reason that I did the sections first, again, is just to make sure that everything is spaced out accordingly, um, and then I can add my custom content from there. Um, so I'm going to go in and put in that custom content. A headline is not required. Um, if you decide you want a different colored background, you can have your primary color, your secondary color. I usually just use the plain white background for this. Um, and then I'm able to add some content. Um, so here's where I'm able to select a photo. Um, I can add a photo. This does have to be a photo from my computer. Um, it doesn't allow me to select anything from the system. You can find amazing photography in BrandServe. Um, they have lots of great custom content in there for you, including the photography that we're allowed to use. If you are a Canva user, uh, whether you do the free Canva or pro Canva, you can get in and get some free stock images. And another one is unsplash.com. Um, so that's another great website. Um, now, if I don't have, um, and that's only if I don't have some, some actual images of these particular areas themselves. Um, for example, you know, if I did a Hartford County, I have a photo of the lighthouse in Havity Grace. I could also use a photo that I have of sunflowers, just a random stock image. Jarrettsville is known for its sunflowers. Um, so Frederick, uh, we'll go with Frederick first, um, known for maybe some um, pastures and some, some land, things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Well, actually, I lied to you. So you can go in and look through the catalog. Uh, you can look through the banners that are in here, uh, but you would have to find something that looks like Frederick. Uh, now you could use an interior photo, 
um, but it might not translate as well on the website. And I'm not sure that anything in here fits what we need, um, although you can choose it. Um, so for the choose factor, I'm going to go ahead and upload an image here. Um, so I'm going to upload my own image. I'm going to select it from my own computer. Um, and that's where I'm able to, um, I do want to make sure that the, the photos that I use are all formatted the same. So you'll see here I have a barn, I have a portrait photo, I have a really flat photo. If I use all different formats, it's going to look a little wonky on my website. Um, so maybe for this one, I'll just use this one with the barn. Again, Cindy, we can go back in and fix these later. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload that photo. Um, it's going to give me the option when I upload it to change the, the size of it in just a moment. But here I'm actually going to give it a meta description. Um, a meta description is just letting Google, Yahoo, Bing, it's letting them know what this photo is about because it's a picture. So it doesn't have any text involved. Google can't reach out to this photo and say, what are you about? So this is kind of letting it know uh, we have Frederick County real estate area reports. I like to slide that Coble Banker Realty into the end of it just because I want it to bounce up to the top as much as possible on Google and all the places. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. So you'll see that gave me a very massive photo. It is enormous. Um, so if I left click on the photo, uh, you'll see some little boxes in the corner and I can start to drag the photo down. Um, in doing that, you'll see that I have some numbers that pop up on the screen. These are key. Um, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to set this to, you know, I don't want it to be too, too big. Um, actually, and also you're able to, and I like to center it before I really finish it. Um, this one here in the middle, if you click on that, you're able to align it into the middle as well. Um, so let's say I'm going to um, make that a 400, if it's going to let me. Sometimes it gets a little finicky. All right, we're going to go with 401. Um, so I have a, a 401 um, picture here. And then underneath, I can say, click here um, to view. Um, a Frederick County area real estate report. So then I'm able to, you know, and again, you can type however you want it to read. Um, if you go into Canva, you can put some verbiage on the photo if you want before you put it in here. Um, so many different things that you can do it in so many different ways. Um, so I'm just going to go back to my Frederick County area report. And because I open that in a tab, I can just go back and copy that particular link just to make sure that that is still on my clipboard. Um, and then I want to highlight. So it's kind of like GPS. I always look at, at hyperlinking like GPS. Before I'm going to go to my destination, I kind of have to plug in where I'm going then it's going to give me directions on how to get there. I'm going to go ahead and type my verbiage out, and then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hit this little link here for like a chain link fence to hyperlink it, um, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL right in there. Um, but I'm not quite done. The target here I want to open in a new window. Um, if I go to Cindy's page and I click here to view this report, I don't want to go to the report and then I don't remember where I came from or I can't get back to Cindy's page. Um, this is going to open in a brand new window. So Cindy's page is still waiting there for us in case we get distracted. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, so I have this in a veranda font with 14 pixels um, and 14 points. So that's fine. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to kind of view what that's going to look like and I'm going to hit save. Now what that's going to do is that's going to pop up down here. And this is basically exactly what it's going to look like. So if I don't like that, I can just go back in and edit it again. Again, you can do this as many times as you need. Um, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit save. 
and now it looks basically the way that I want it to. Um, then I'm able to add another widget here, and it's going to be the same process. I'm going to go into custom content. I'm going to hit next, and this is where, again, I'm going to do a photo of some sort. Um, so let's just say for this one, we'll go with uh, Carroll County. Um, since I know you work in Carroll County as well, um, I'll just go with another barn photo. Again, we can always go in and change these. We can always swap these photos out later. It's very easy to do so, uh, but for the sake of time. Um, so here again, we're going to have that, that Carroll County area real estate um, report, and we'll save it. And again, you don't have to use that exact verbiage. Um, I did write down next to me that my number was 401. Um, so I'm going to do my best job to get to 401. Oh, there we go. So I have 401. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center. Um, and then again, click here to view a Carroll County area real estate report. I think that's what I said before. We'll we'll make sure. Um, so now I don't want Frederick County. Now I'm going to go back into Prospect Square. I want to go to Preview and Share again. And I'm going to, since I'm already there, I'm just going to hit that Find button again. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to uncheck Frederick County. But now I'm going to look for Carroll County. All right. So we have Carroll County, Maryland. We can go ahead and search that. Now I have Carroll County. I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. And again, I'm going to open that new tab and paste it in just to make sure that I got all of it. So here we have Carroll County. So again, I'm going to make sure that's copied. I have my, my text. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I'm going to hit the chain link for the linking of the, the hyperlinking. I'm going to paste that URL in. I'm going to open in a new window. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit Next, and then I'm going to save. So now I have another one, and again, that's where I'm showing you here kind of what it does when your, your photos are not all exactly formatted the same. Um, if you find that and you get frustrated, you can make an appointment with me. We can go into Canva um, and drop them into a template, and that will ensure that they are all exactly the same size. Um, and then again, we just want to keep going, um, add another widget again, um, add another photo again, uh, and making sure again that those photos are very similar um, or, or like-minded. Um, so Cindy, what's another uh, county that you would like to feature? Washington. Okay. So we're going to do Washington. I'm just going to choose this bar. And again, we'll go back in, Cindy, and we can fix this later. Um, we'll make sure it's all formatted and, and it looks good. Um, but we'll go ahead and get that one. So let's say we want Washington County Area Real Estate Report. And again, I always add the Cobalt Banker Realty to the end just because I want it to whoosh up to the top. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down to that 401. Okay. And I can align that to the center. Click here to view a Washington Um, and then I'm going to go right back into Prospect Square again. I'm going to hit the Find button. I'm going to uncheck. And Washington County is in here now. You guys asked for it. They listened. Um, I yelled at them. Um, and it's in here now. So we can search for that. We have Washington County. Um, we're going to go ahead again, copy. And honestly, if you don't want to open a new window and paste it and make sure it works, you don't have to do all of that. I tend to do that because I'm always afraid I haven't copied the whole thing and I would rather have it correct now and not have to go back and fix it later necessarily. Um, so here I'm going to again highlight, paste, new window, OK, next and save and then give me one more county. Baltimore. All righty. 
Um, so here we're going to add that widget as well for the custom content. Next, we're going to look for um, a good a good image. And again, another thing that you're able to do, so I will show you here. Um, if you go in and you decide to do um, some some photos in Canva, that's where you can really like add these little um, these little um, the verbiage to it. Um, let's see if I have an actual Baltimore in here without going off the rails and making it completely different. Um, let's see. Well, that's going to give us the city, but let's see if we have something in here that looks like Baltimore County. Maybe it is. Oh, that's not going to give us anything either. Um, so that is why it's important um, to go through and find all of your images first. Like I said, well, here, we'll use the tree again. I promise I will go back and fix this, Cindy. Um, so we'll have the tree. Um, if you guys are into Canva, again, you don't have to pay for it, um, but you really could. Um, you really could go in and just use like the Instagram post. You could use this format. Um, that would give you the opportunity to search photos and I could search for Baltimore and get a lot of really good pictures that I'm able to use, um, even if it's something like that. Um, if I want to use something like that and you'll see how it gives me this this clear cut image, I can always add another one. And then if I wanted to do something with a barn, um, I could add that maybe for like Carroll County or Frederick. Um, you know, you can always go in and and do that. And that way all of your photos are formatted accordingly. They're all the same size. Um, so we'll do Baltimore County. Uh, real estate area report. And again, we're going to pull that down and that'll make it easier as well. If all of them are formatted together, um, they'll all be exactly the exact same size. And then click here to view a, oh, that was Baltimore County area real estate report. And then we're just going to go back into Prospect Square. We're going to hit find. We're going to get rid of that Washington County and go all the way back up. Um, now you will see Baltimore County here and you will see Baltimore City County. Um, this system just shows everything as counties. That really is Baltimore City in the city lines. Um, so for this one, we'll choose the county. Uh, we'll pick up that county. Double check it. We're going to link it. And I am doing this on purpose without making them the same size just to kind of show you guys what that's going to look like. Um, again, Cindy, I promise we'll fix it. Um, so we're going to save that. A lot of times agents will sit down and we've done all of this work and we think that we are done. In the InTouch system, when you are adding things, you're going to see this preview and save. And that is why I preach so often that we need to preview, preview, preview. Um, we're going to preview and save. What that's going to do is it's going to give us the option to look at our website as if we were on a desktop. Uh, we could see it as if we were on a tablet, we can see it as if we were on a mobile device. Um, if you wish, you can scroll down to the bottom and we'll see what that looks like. So here's where I kind of wanted you to see. Um, we have a short and a long and a short and a long. So not terrible. Uh, kind of looks like we did that on purpose, actually. Uh, but that's where it would come into play to use maybe a Canva with a template in it. Um, so here. I can see what it's going to look like also on a tablet. It's going to space it out different on the mobile. Again, it'll space it out differently. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Um, once I've saved it, you're going to see congratulations at the top. I'm going to X off on the top. And the very first thing that I am going to do is click on my website and hit view site. That's going to take me to the live version of my website. I just saved these changes. They are already live on the site. 
Um, so we're going to scroll down to the bottom of Cindy's site here. And here we have click here for Frederick County, Carroll County, Washington County, and Baltimore County. Um, the other thing that I always like to do as a preview is go through and click them and make sure they work. So here we have Frederick County. That works just fine. We have Carroll County. Works just fine. Washington County is the same. And Baltimore County is the same. Um, so the added benefit again, if you guys want to uh, make these photos, um, if you really want to customize them, you're able to do that. I will show you um, what some other agents have done. Um, so here we have Cecil. Um, if we go to Cecil's website, I'm pretty sure they have them on here. Um, yep, so here you can see they just did some circles. Uh, she was actually able to hyper, oh, yep, she was able to hyperlink her photos. Mine doesn't ever let me do that. That's why I do the hyperlinks. If it'll allow you to hyperlink the photo, we can always go in and try to do that. Um, also, we have uh, Sandy Bratcher has included some on hers. Uh, also using Canva tiles where you can go in, click through. She has some quarterly reports on hers. So again, you can do quarterly or you can do area reports um, on your website. I like the area reports. They do update once a month on the fifth of every month. Um, the quarterly reports, of course, that's four times a year. Um, but you can go into Canva. You can type on the photo, um, those kind of things. And let's say that we wanted to hyperlink the photo. Um, so here we've gone back in. Let's say we want to edit what we've already done. Uh, we can go into the home screen, edit the page, and we'll see here at the bottom. Um, I can still click on that those three little dots, the kebab menu, and I can edit this as I see fit. Um, I can go back in. I can change the photo. I can change the font, the size of the font, anything that I want to do. Um, here I'm going to click on the photo itself, just the left click, and I'm going to hyperlink the photo. So if I hit the, the button again, just to highlight the photo, I'm going to left click on the photo. I'm going to click on the hyperlink button, and then I'm going to paste in that code for that really good um, report and hit new window and OK. That's where if I have something in Canva right on the photo, it could say click here to get such and such. Um, I can hit next. I can hit save. Again, don't forget we have to preview and save and we have to save again. Remember preview every single time. Um, and then what happens now is when we get out of the system and we go back into the website. So I like to do that because now the website has been refreshed. Um, so I can go down to the bottom. I'm still going to be able to click through on the text to get to that. But if somebody accidentally doesn't realize they have to click the text and they click on the photo and see how now it's not working. So that's what was happening with mine. They used to have that capability. They kind of took it away a little bit. So I always like to have this here so that it's very clickable. It's easy to access for everybody that wants to use it. Um, so I know I always get questions on hyperlinking the photos. Um, so another thing that you are able to do, in addition to putting these on your website on the bottom, um, for those of you that have do dove in already to the communities pages, um, and even if you haven't just yet, um, the top of the page, you can put lots of different uh, information about your communities. Then you can add communities served. Um, in adding community served, um, you guys know I'm always going to go to Joppa Town. It's the only one I've really, really worked on uh, so far. Uh, but you can add a lot of information, but you're able to add an area report for this particular area. So you'll see on my on this particular page, I do have it hyperlinked. So click here, uh, view an updated area report, summarizing recent real estate activity in Joppa. If you need clarification of any of the figures, you would like to have these updated reports emailed to you each month, or you wish to take additional steps toward property ownership, please let me know. I am happy to help. Um, I find that the more I tell people that I'm happy to help, the more inclined they are to call me for something because uh, people like when we help them. Um, I do have this hyperlink, so you can see here if you 
click on that, it's going to take you straight to my report. Um, the other thing I have here is what is called an iframe. Um, so this iframe just allows me to put the link for the, the website here, and it's going to frame it out in this square for me, and someone can literally scroll through my entire report right on my website. They don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to move. They can still share it to Facebook if they want to. Again, this is a benefit to me as the agent. If I include these in all of my communities, I can log in anytime. I can share to Facebook. I can share on any kind of social media marketing via um, this share button, except for Instagram. And I can also print this to PDF. I can take it with me when I'm going to an open house or if door knocking, um, or if I want to print this out and farm and send it to an area. Um, you might say, well, how do I get this little box on my website? Um, so I'm actually going to dive into my in touch for just a moment um, because I want to show you what this looks like because um, I will be honest with you, it looks a little bit crazy, um, but it is much easier, I promise. Um, and if you get stuck, I'm definitely here to help you. Um, so as we go back in and we edit the site, um, one thing that we're able to do is then go over to community served. Um, now, when I open this up again, I have a bajillion of them in here. Um, just lots of different uh, places that all of my agents work. Um, so if I go into the Joppa, the Joppa town um, and I scroll through, um, I'm going to get to that community description. Um, actually, I lied to you. Oh, no, I didn't. Where did it go? Okay, maybe it was the Joppa town and not the Joppa. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do that all the time. I should know better. Shame on me. Um, so here you can see I have all this information. And then I have this big box. But even in the background, it doesn't tell me where did this box come from. Um, because it's something that actually lives in the background. Um, so I'm going to click on this scary little source code right here um, and you'll see all of the Swahili in the background. It's kind of giving breaks to the system, letting it know what the font size is. It's letting it know what the different hyperlinks are. That's where all of that lives in the background. That's why when I link it, that's how the system knows, hey, we want to go to such and such grocery store. When we click such and such grocery store, it's going to send us to that particular page or the area report or the videos. Um, so here down on the bottom, um, we have something and I will send you, um, I will send you the link uh, that goes along for the, for the call, uh, what they call the iframe. Um, but here at the bottom, we see where it says iframe. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this. And this copy here is what I would send to you. Now, this looks like a lot Swahili to me. So what we're going to do organically um, is we're going to go back into Cindy's. So let's say you have this link now and you want to put it in this community and you're not sure how. Um, so Cindy has some, some information here. She has hers situated by county. Um, so we would be able to go into, let's say, her um, Frederick County. So we'll go into Frederick County. Um, and now I want to put this iframe in here. If I just go ahead and paste it in there, it's not going to work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that source code button again. And I'm just going to paste it in here. So now I have this source code. I can see here where there is a title. Um, so here I want to give it a title. I want to say Frederick County Area real estate report and then that's where i'm going to go back to her prospect square i'm going to go in and find that frederick county maryland um, i'm going to search i'm going to get that really good link um, and i'm able to go back in and that's where i have to kind of really look so here's this http it's going to take me through the whole way through until I get to quotes right before it says with. And again, I know this is a little crazy. If you need help, I can also help you with it. 
Um, and that's where I have the width set is 900 and the height is 550. Um, once I hit OK, it's like magic. It's just going to pop up right there on the page. Um, I can also shorten it. So you'll see that this was a 550 um, by 900 width. I can shorten the height. If I want to go in and play around with it, I can make it a little bit shorter. Um, that's OK, too. Um, and you again play around with the number a little bit, but here is the entire report. Um, maybe I want to, um, and again, you'll see if you do go in and play around with it too much. Now you can see it's really too short. Uh, it's not, it's not wide enough. Um, so we probably do want to keep that at that 900 mark. Uh, we have the, the height there as well, and then we can go in and hit save. Um, again, I want to go to the website. Um, I would go to my website and hit communities um, so that I could go and see what this is going to look like live. Um, as I scroll down and I click on Frederick, um, now I have that information. I had shortened it, um, so I might want to make that just a little bit, just a little bit longer. Again, you can always go back in. It's so easy to go in if you're like, oh, I really screwed this up. Um, it's really easy to go back in and say, okay, well, maybe I want that to be 550 again. Um, you can again go in, fix that, hit save. Um, and that's something that we're able to now refresh the page. And you'll see it's going to come up a little bit longer where it does give me that area report. But again, the most important thing is someone can go in here and they can get all of this information on your website um, for Frederick. They can scroll down. Uh, she has her IDX set up so they can get all of the active listings. They can, you know, scroll through and say, hey, I want to click on, I'm going to look for some properties for sale. Uh, they can look through all the properties. They can like them, love them, send them, uh, share them, and just have fun with their property search because it it should be fun. Uh, real estate is, is fun most of the time, not always. Uh, but here now I have some great information. And again, if she determines that that's just too long, she doesn't want that much information. Again, it's just about going in and fiddling with it. Um, and I see that for a reason because everyone looks at information differently. Some agents would be like, oh, wow, that's too long or that's not long enough. So let me try the 400. Um, and then when I get it the way I want it, I'm just going to go in and copy that. And that's the iframe that I'm going to use for all of mine. Um, so you'll see I shortened it to 400. Um, and now that's probably, you know, that would probably be good enough for me. Um, but you can do that again. I, I'll send you the link for that iframe. Uh, but the other thing that you're able to do in addition to that is if I don't want just somebody to to click on that necessarily, um, I might want to type something in. Uh, so I'm going to cheat just a little bit, and I'm just going to go to my page and copy what's already here just for time's sake for the class. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, I'm going to take out the hyperlink. I'm going to take out all the bold. Um, so here we would want to make sure that we say in Frederick, um, you know, if, you know, they want clarification, they can give me that, you know, I can get that clarification for them. I already have my prospect square open, so I'm going to go back in and copy that exact same link for Frederick. So click here to view an updated report. Um, you'll you guys will see when I do this, I like to highlight a lot. Um, and the reason that I do that is because number one, I have really fat fingers, and if I'm trying to click on something on my mobile device on your website and I get frustrated and I can't get to it, I'm going to move on. Um, so the more surface area you give someone to be able to click on to get to all the things, it's a little bit easier. Um, ADA really re recommends that as well. Um, so I'm going to highlight that entire blurb there. I'm going to go ahead, hit that link, paste that link in, new window target, hit OK, and now I have some options here. Um, they can either click through to get the larger version or they can just scroll through the version here and you'll see if I refresh immediately it is available on my website. Again, they can click here and view that area report and they can get that really large report 
um, so they can see all the info, or if they just want to scroll through here, they can get that information there. Um, so that's the benefit of putting in uh, community served, even if you don't have any information about those communities. Again, you don't have to be a crazy person uh, like I am and gonna go through and put all of this extra. You can, if that's what you want, you can keep it, uh, keep it sweetly simple as well um, and go in and just put in, you know, your report. At least that gives you some custom content. Um, the other benefit of that um, is that, you know, we can go in, um, and, and, you know, Cindy has hers down as county. She can include the county reports. So I have mine in uh, my communities and as zip codes, I can, you know, put in the area reports for, for each zip code. Um, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. There's no wrong way to do it. Obviously, the only wrong way is to not add any customization at all. Um, but the more that you have custom content on your website, Google really recognizes that. Um, and the thing that I like most about this custom content is all of these links here are live links. Um, that means on the fifth of every month, that link is going to auto update. Um, when we come in, when Cindy comes in um, next month, you know, if this is still here, um, if she hasn't updated it or changed it somehow, um, and someone were to go in on the 6th of July, um, when they click on area report or they scroll down, it's going to say June. It's going to automatically update. I don't even have to think about it. I'm just going to let it run. Um, it looks like I am the area expert. I can tell you how many days on the market for average. Look at this. Oh, now is a great time to sell your house in Frederick. I mean, my goodness. Days on the market is an average of 11, an average, which means it could be a lot less. You're getting almost 20% more for your home. Uh, if you're thinking about selling, I would definitely do it now before that number starts to drop when we're completely out of the spring selling season. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can look and see how COVID affected the area last year and how we've rebounded this year. So I can see days on the market has gone down. Um, you know, and it gives me the percentages of how it's gone up or how it's gone down. So it really is amazing to see the average sold price has gone up again, almost 20%. And I can see the difference. Last May, the average price was 369 and now it's 441. Um, I can see year to date. I can see it's amazing the information that is in here. Uh, there are charts and graphs with info bubbles. So you can click the info bubble. It will tell you what the graph is for. What does it mean? Uh, but lots of good information. Look at the real estate trend in this area in the past five years. This just proves that real estate, man, when you want to invest in something, real estate is where it is at. So the median sales price was 300,000 in 2017, and now it is 391. That's almost a hundred thousand dollars more. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to geek out, but that just blows my mind. Like that's amazing. Um, we really help people grow their individual wealth. We help them realize the dream of home ownership. Um, we help people, you know, with the American dream. Like this is what we do. Um, so it's really nice to kind of be able to flaunt that a little bit on our website, push it out to people so that they can see. You know, who else are they going to buy or sell with? The agent that knows exactly what's going on in the market. Um, if you're selling, I know how best to help you. If you're buying, I know how best to help you. Um, and again, you can put them on your community's pages. You could set up an entire other page for these reports. Um, you know, you can add them down to the bottom as well um, in different multiple ways of doing that. Um, if you get stuck, if you're going through and you're like, man, this is just way too much for me. I feel very overwhelmed right now. You're not alone. I felt the same way when I started doing this. We can always get together in a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Uh, we can sit down and put these things together. Um, if you're interested in having, uh, you know, maybe we can dive into Canva a little bit. Um, I see that 
warily as I'm not supposed to promote non Coldwell Banker things, but if it's going to make you guys look like rock stars, we can definitely do that in an appointment. We can make it, you know, if you have a vision for your website and your brand and your business, Let's realize that. Let's get there. Um, the other benefit is the more stuff that I put on my website, the custom content, I'm going to be more searchable in Google, um, on Yahoo, Bing, any place that someone's looking for me. Plus, I'm also showing my why. Uh, there are a lot of real estate agents out there. Why am I calling you? Um, so being able to add some of these things, and again, I don't tell anybody I have a system for this. Um, they don't need to know that Prospect Square is a tool that I use. How do you know that I haven't sat down for five hours to painstakingly put this report together for your benefit as my, my client? Um, so just a wonderful way, again, of easily accessing the information myself. Um, I tend to be a little lazy sometimes. I don't want to log into desk in a prospect square, into reports, into preview, into find, into the county. Get the, I just want to report. Um, if I put it on my website, I can just click a couple times on my website and I can push it right out. The other benefit of having it on the bottom of my main page is I can now share my entire website on social media. Just go to my website, scroll to the bottom, and you can get all of the current area information for your area. If you're not finding what you're looking for, contact me today. I'm here to help. Um, so just some ways of pushing yourself out there, um, letting people know that you really do know the real estate market. Uh, replace those fears that they have with facts um, and make yourself look good at the same time. Um, so I know that we went a little bit quickly just to get it all into that hour. Um, does anybody have any questions? So, Ange, if I wanted to add more reports, like broken down more than from the whole county, is it just go through that same process, do four widgets and do it again? Yep, you can do that. And that's what I was going to say. Um, if you create your own page for it, if you have an agent now that's created her own page, she literally wants to put like every single thing in the county on there, her decision. Um, but you can break it down into, again, the sections can be four, they can be three, they can be two. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can just, it's same process. You can go in, um, if you don't want to do it by county, if you want to do specific areas, you can do that. Uh, but I always like to remind people too, you can't use the market report. Um, so I couldn't like do a specific subdivision and push that out. There's no preview to share or share button, uh, but anything that is a quarterly or an area report, so county or zip code, you're able to share. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So I say if you can dream it, you can do it. And if you dream it and you can't figure out how to do it, then you call me and we'll do it together. Um, so again, anything that you that you have a vision for, if you are on the internet and you're like, hey, I really kind of like the way that this thing looks and I kind of want to have that vibe on my page, let's get together. Um, I'm not tooting my own horn too much, but if we find it somewhere, we can probably recreate it together on Canva for you. Again, just to make you look like the rock stars that you are. Um, and have some fun with it. I like to go into the reports a lot and look and see how different in Maryland all of these different areas are. Because I guarantee you, if you look at that Frederick report and then you go in and look at Baltimore County, they are not the same. Um, they're very, very different um, because they're different areas. Um, so again, just promoting your expertise and giving you the expertise if you, if you don't already have it. Um, so with that, if you guys don't have any uh, other questions, I'm going to give you five minutes of your day back. Um, so you can uh, dive in if you want to to get some of this done or go to my website, schedule an appointment with me and we can we can dive in together. Thanks, All right, Andy. guys. Sure thing. Thanks, have a great Thank day. You. Sure. Be safe. Bye. Bye-bye.